All right, guys, today we are back at it with another awesome video. Look at this, there's palm trees right behind me. I'm in Florida. There's actually a swimming pool right across the street there that I did not get in because I stuck my toe in it and it was cold. <laughs> oh my God, I'm an idiot. Okay, so anyways, today we are gonna do another Halloween video. I have been putting this off for three, maybe four months now um, because I wanted to do it along with you guys. Today we're going to be talking about Brick Thunder, another awesome Halloween YouTuber that has tons and tons of videos on his channel. He does all kinds of unboxings. And what we're going to watch today is his 2021 full haunt walkthrough. We'll be right back. I told you to stay away. Oh my God. <laughs> what are you Okay, yes, Brick Thunder. Now, looking at his channel, he has so many awesome videos on here. Like I said, he unboxes all kinds of animatronics from Spirit Halloween. Um, each year he shows his complete collection. Here's his 2020 collection, his 2021. I believe if we're looking at uh, the oldest videos first, yeah, he's been at this for like four years. Look, he even has a Halloween hunt from 2017. So he's been at this for quite a while. I've watched a lot of his live streams where he unboxes animatronics. Here's one right here from, it looks like two years ago, of one of my all-time favorite animatronics, The Collector. I love The Collector. He is so absolutely enormous. I want to own him someday because his head is gigantic. Okay, so <laughs> look how young Brick looks in that picture. That's hilarious. All right, let's go back to his channel here. We're going to go to his videos, and what we're going to watch today is going to be the full 2021 Halloween hunt. And he filmed this in the day and the night. Apparently, it's about a 12-minute video. I don't know if you'll see the whole thing on this channel or not. I'm going to watch it with you. And uh, I might just skim through so you can go to his channel and watch the entire thing. I started to watch a couple videos where he was putting this together. And I'm like, this is going to be so cool. I don't even want to see it yet. And then I actually was supposed to meet up with him and do a collab a few months ago in October when this was set up. And I just didn't make it there. I didn't get the chance to go. So unfortunately, that didn't happen. However, I do have it on good authority that both Brick Thunder and I will be at the New Jersey flagship store on opening day in Halloween 2022. Okay, anyway, this is my first time seeing this. I am so excited to see it, and I'm so glad that he filmed it in both the day and the nighttime because we can actually see what everything looks like, and then we can see how it looks when it's all lit up and dark and spooky and all the animatronics and everything. So let me get these headphones on here, and let's get this rolling. Okay, Brick Thunder, full 2021 Halloween haunt, day and night. Let's do this. <laughs> look at, oh my gosh, look at all the people waiting to go in. Holy crap, and he's got the enormous 12-foot skeleton out there. I think it came from uh, Home Depot, if I'm not mistaken. Is that Home Depot or Lowe's? I don't remember. Home Depot, I think. All right, let's start Whoa. our daytime walkthrough. Walking right through the Looming Ghoul, we see Baphomet right here as the guard entrance to the sewer. And now, let's enter in. So, the Laser Swamp is not on just yet because that will turn on at night, but this is the Laser Swamp hallway. We've got Fairy of the Dead rowing down it. Of course, a ton of vines on the ceiling. So cool. Walk over here and we enter the Garage Haunt. Turn the corner. We do have some floating candles up here. Turn the corner. Nightcrawler. And look at this, guys. Like I said, you can go to his channel and see him preparing and building all this stuff. I'm gonna have to watch all that after I get done with this video here, but let's keep on moving. Right here, jumps up at people. Got this arrow pointing people, which way to go. And then they go into the dark hallway. This is the squeeze hallway and very dark, as you can tell. They Harvester. enter over here to Harvester of Souls. Look at the green stuff on the top there too. There he is. We also have the I know exactly how that stuff's made. And look, it looks like he has eyeballs in it. They I don't can know if that's what it is or not, but see life sentence over here in the wall. 
Then they turn the corner. We've got the drop window room. This is probably my favorite hallway. Got Boogeyman there at the end. He will have a strobe light on him. This one is the drop window. Uh, later on, I will show the nighttime walkthrough, and you guys will see it. Actually that is so cool! I can't wait to see it. that. Then we come over here. We got a jumping spider on the wall. Turn the corner. We are in the spider hallway, and actually, <laughs> Boogeyman just turned on behind us. Oh my gosh! There's Boogeyman. That's like Slender Man. I think he's called like Tall Slim Man in. Uh, I don't know, one of the stores, a uh, party city or something. We have some dropping and swinging spiders, and of course, oh, the giant crap, spider dropping the spiders. Ceiling. Then we walk out here, and now we are entering the circus. Got Ringmaster right up here. <laughs> Looming Archway Clown walking right under his curtains. And in here, Harriet Hustle oh my gosh. swinging right away. He's got so many cool animatronics. Going through some of her clown dolls. Candy creep. Candy creep hiding behind these trees, looking creepy. Turn the corner, and we have the circus. Now that is so, awesome. Look at that. Here we have the fun house <laughs> tent. Oh my gosh, you got Crouchy, crouchy on the top. Feet up with the rashing clown on the side, underworld clown on the inside. Turn over here, we have the fairgrounds. So we've got the oh ticket booth, gosh. and we got the concession stand over there ticket booth here with the distortions crazy clown wrapped up in these tickets got the flag fencing also with some cool clown head stakes horse uh rocking horse a rocking horse clowns, just a random rocking around, horse and a carousel horse walking over here we have henry hustle in the concession stand this stuff is so cool this is totally Popcorn what i would do if i had a big yard to it. do it Turn and I love look over building here, Halloween and this props. looks a lot cooler at night, but we have <laughs> clowns coming out of the hot tub. <laughs> the clowns the in the hot tub. Skulls in the hot tub as well. Two scoops. Two scoops over here. Look, looks it's really a girl's head night. in the ice cream. Mr. Salty. <laughs> oh my Looking gosh, Looking over here, we've got Dead Humor, who actually just popped up. Um, but he will be going at night. Actually, was able to pick this up today at Spirit Halloween. Pretty cool. Got bloody bag hanging from it. Oh my gosh. Over here, we got Shorty. We will have another killer clown actor right next to him. We also, in this room, it's kind of hard to see, have Cuddles the Clown, and we will have an actor in there as well. Okay. Very hard to see on That'll camera, probably show but, up much uh, better at be night when everything's lit too. up. You can see in the house uh, at better. At night time, we will have uh, the spiral-eyed clown display up here. Right now, it's too windy to put up, but it will look pretty cool. This is the black light and spiral-eyed type section. Wacky this is so amazing. And the clown. Walking into one of the scariest parts. Crunchy of bones. Sure. This is the <laughs> laboratory type room. We've got Buzzsaw right here looking scary. We have Miss Is that Mercy. like a random leg we hanging from the ceiling? of body parts and a body. We will also have a scare actor coming out of the curtains there. Got this fog tube up here, which will be shooting fog on people's way out. Butcher. Butcher, right here with some hanging heads and limbs. Rusty hanging, because mine actually doesn't work, so we wanted to put him Is That was use. a good use of him, though, for finally, it doesn't for work. And finally, the final scare, yes. Mr. Dark. Mr. Dark. That's perfect for the final scare. We also have a barricade just blocking people's view, so it doesn't ruin the surprise of Mr. Dark. Then they walk over here. They get to pass by the <laughs> werewolves in the cage. We've got Wolf Spitter right oh, here yes. next to Howling Werewolf and Mr. Howl. Some big hits right there. Then you walk over here, got Collector guiding you the right way with his arrow. And then we come over here, Jumping Spider scaring some people, got the witches. We will have a witch actor up here too with the candy. Oh, man. Then you come over here to some of the haunt info with Hauntress actually dropping forward, some scaring some people. That's a good idea. I didn't know you could change that, make Hauntress go side to side or forward. That's really cool, that was a good idea. Right here is what the graveyard looks like in the daytime doesn't look as cool right now because of how windy it is we have dark angels wings off at nighttime they will be back on uh but yeah it doesn't look as cool in the daytime but you can see some more like details punctured uh, but back at night there. we have this place very well lit um but it is huge this year much bigger than previous years um but yeah super happy with the turnout for this graveyard then 
they can come over here and look at some of the vampires. Got Lord Decon of our hand there <laughs> and the Count with a little flame light above oh them. Oh my gosh. But that is the main daytime walkthrough. Let's go to the nighttime. All right, so cool. Walking right under the archway, Baphomet as the entrance. Let's go in to the laser swamp. What in the world? Live actor. Oh, that's a live here. actor. Fairy of the Dead rolling <laughs> down. That would scare down. the crap out of me, man. Keep going, and inside here, Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler. He needs awesome some jump. Aquafresh. We also have some floating candles above. Oh, that's him, cool! The floating candles. A really cool demonic type scene. Then we keep. I on so going. wish I could have seen this in person. Over here we have a digital arrow. Showing us the That's way to go. That's a good idea, too, the digital era, because it's dark, dark in those places. Squeeze hallway, so it is very hard to see on camera. Sorry about that. But once we get out, the ending here is Harvester of Souls with Life Sentence right here. We also have people going through, as you can tell. Very busy night tonight. Turn the corner here. Clown jump scare. And over here, we have the drop window. <laughs> Boogeyman going over oh here. Oh my gosh, that is Entering awesome right there. The I love that drop hallway. window. We will have a projection on this wall too. Just right now, it is not going. It'll be just projecting some spiders. I wonder how many now live actors he has in there. The I think I've circus. seen four or five so far. Ringmaster lurking greeting in everyone. the dark. Right Ooh, look here, at his eyes. His looming clown. Onto the circus. Harriet Hustle swinging from her swing right next to all of her creepy clown dolls. Candy creep over there at the end. <laughs> See, this is why I like the guys that their eyes light up. Some people don't like that. And now we but turn at night, it makes the corner it look so much better. into the circus and fairgrounds. Up here is the tent with Thrashing Clown, Underworld, and Crouchy all the way up there. Also got some live actors here. Flames in the window behind uh, it. Nighty night, I Over think that guy's name was. Over here is the fairgrounds, all guarded off by flag fencing. Ferris wheel clown down at the bottom. Crazy clown right here in the ticket booth. Is crazy clown a spirit clown Halloween around one? At the bottom, some rocking, uh, rocking horse He looks horse more like one that would come and, from uh, like Party City right or something. Here. Henry Hustle in the concession stand, right next to the popcorn. I actually skulls. had that popcorn machine. Turn over here. We see a clown coming out of the I hot tub. I love that. That hot right tub there. thing is one of my favorites of Towering the whole thing. Towering clown up on the stage. Two scoops and Mr. Salty, along with a killer clowns actor right next to Shorty. Also around this corner is Dead Humor. Oh, we didn't see him earlier. He's been scaring a lot of people tonight. He sits up like uh, Bloody Michael Bloody bag of jokes in the testing Only chamber. Fast. Looking pretty cool. And also, got cuddles. Yeah, the there you go. Inside. You can see that much better now at night with the lights Walk on the inside. Here. This is one of my personal favorite sections. And <laughs> there. Clown actor right there. That is cool. Move over here. We have the swirly-eyed clown section. Wacky Mole with his swirly eyes. Wacky. Got the swirling clown display. And peekaboo clown. Walk through here. We have one of the scariest sections for sure. This <laughs> is the laboratory. That's like eight or nine people so far Buzz that I've off. seen. Got Miss uh, Mercy live here. Live scares jumping out. Walk out of the tent, and we have the butcher. Tons butcher with of a fog foot on a chain, too, just to increase the scare. We also have. Mr. Dark. Mr. Dark. There was a scare right there, as you can see. And at night, he He's totally disappears into the right dark. I can tell you that. Because I saw him in person at the one Finally, haunt in Finally, you pass Aspen. all the werewolves right here. Wolf Spitter, Howling Werewolf, and Mr. That Howl. That really cool right there. The, the werewolves in the you cage. Come over that here, is scary. Collector points you in the right direction. And then you pass by the more kid-friendly area where you get your candy. You pass by the two Jemmy Witches. And you get to see more info about the haunt right here. That's cool. Right here is the graveyard. We're going to get some shots of this too. Because this turned out really, really cool this year. Got all the props going in here. Edgar Allan Poe. 
leading everyone in. <laughs> People are allowed to walk in this section. Dark Angel's wings are off right now, but he still looks pretty creepy. And the reason is because wind doesn't really allow those to be on easily. But that is what the graveyard The lighting looks, like. looks really good pretty. around the whole thing. All right. Well, that was Layman my 2021 Manor. haunt video. All right. That's All right, it, thank guys. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. That was awesome. Good job, Brick, to say the least. I wish I could have been there in person to see that because that's an absolutely awesome haunt. Now, I'm going to have to go back through, like I was saying earlier, um, about, like, here's a video right here, um, Halloween Haunt build, and it shows. He's got videos that go through and show him setting the whole thing up. And like I said, I haven't watched any of them because I wanted to save this until I could sit down and film and react to uh, the full, complete um, haunt. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to go back through and watch these. There they are building the uh, the sewer, I think he, he said. Yeah, the sewer facade. That's awesome. All right, guys. That's it. I hope you enjoyed that. Brick Thunder, make sure you go over and subscribe. Hit the bell so you get notifications when he puts up new videos. Because he puts up videos at least once a week right now. All through the off season too. And when Halloween hits, he gets totally wild. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll see you in the next video.